Yes, good afternoon. Sava here from Football Heritage TV. As you can see from the title of the show and from the comment at the bottom, Ange Postacoglu has won Manager of the Month for September, as he did for August, making it two managerial awards in two managerial months. And Sonny, ruthless Sonny, has won Player of the Month off the back of James Madison winning it in August. That means Spurs so far have all of the awards for August Player of the Month and for September Player of the Month. And fair play to both of them. Fair play indeed. Ange Postacoglu, as we know, has breathed new life into this Tottenham Hotspur. And long may it continue. Fans are energised. Fans are losing their mind. Some are going over the top, but why not? You, I'll, I'll hear you cry. Some are keeping their feet on the ground. But one thing we can all agree on, and with middle ground, is that Ange Postacoglu is definitely the right man for the job. And I think now it wasn't that feeling in the summer from many people. I think now it is. And Ange Postacoglu takes full credit for that. He's come into a very difficult job. He's come into a team that was massively underperforming. He's come into a group of players that were playing so poorly. You know me. I attribute it to the previous incumbent, Antonio Conte. Absolutely hated his style of management. Hated the way he was with the players. None of the players seemed happy. None of them were running through brick walls for him. None of them smiled. None of the fans were smiling. Even winning felt very dull and very boring. And Ange Postacoglu has come to this football club and changed that around. What's he done? Before we start talking about Sonny, what has Ange done? Has he done anything groundbreaking? Or are we witnessing a man-to-man or person-to-person, to be correct, manager that we've needed for years? That Pochettino touch. That Martin Yole touch, that Redknapp touch, the putting your arm around the player, go out there, play your game. Yes, this is going to be our style. This is going to be our philosophy. But you as an individual, this is your game. Go out there, have fun, enjoy it, work hard and the rewards will come. Now, of course, will the rewards come? We don't know. It's too early to say we're eight games into a season. But the feel good factor is there. Now, feel-good factor doesn't mean you're going to win every game of the season. But feel-good factor means there's enough there that when you do lose a game, you go, all right, we lost. But you know what? We've seen enough. We've seen enough to know that everything's good. We've seen enough to know that this is a blip in the road. So can Tottenham Hotspur forge forward with Ange Postacoglu for the next two, three, four, five, six years? All the clubs that have done the best in the last 10, 15 years, aside from Chelsea, who have always had the rotation of managers because they're normally just going out and buying the best players and those managers are coming in and winning, winning, winning. You look at Liverpool and their sustained success. Klopp's been there eight years. Guardiola and their sustained success with Man City. They've been there for seven years. The teams they build around them in terms of coaching staff, philosophy, fitness, medical staff, scouts, academy, directors of football. These things all matter. And that's why winning isn't like that. It's not a tap you turn off and on. When you are a Man City, you can turn it off and on. Liverpool, not off and on, but to a degree, they're always there or thereabouts. Tottenham haven't had that. We haven't had consistency. We've had Conte. For 18 months. Jose for 18 months. Nuno for three or four months. Before that, we had the consistency with Poch and then it all started to go like that because the owners didn't do enough. But Postacoglu, yes, it's only eight games, but he looks like he's coming in and changing that. Now, I am a big advocate of saying eight games. Eight games, it is. For me, I've always maintained this. I'm not going to change now. I always wanted Postacoglu in the summer. I was happy when we were linked with him. I was one of the people saying, yeah, I really want him. And I do think he can be very successful at this club if given time, if given tools, and if given patience. Three things that we've not been good at as a whole, not fans. 
I'm talking about fans, players, managers, owners, everything. You need patience to let him build, to let him grow, for this philosophy to, to, to move forward. Yeah, you need time because nothing happens overnight. And you need the tools. Miracle workers can only do so much. You need the tools. And I know people want to say, oh, we'll just bring kids through and we'll win with them. You've got to bring in the depth. You've got to bring in the, you've got to get the tools to him. Now, you would suggest that from the first summer that he's had, we made some really good signings. Vicario, Van der Ven, Madison, they all stand out. He's made other players much better. Romero, he's made much better. Porro, he's made much better. Basuma, Papasari's bringing through. But that leads me on nicely to a player that he's made much better. A player that, for me, I worried. I worried that he'd gone. Sonny, I'll be honest, everyone knows I was worried that he was gone, that his zest for football had gone. He looked lethargic. He looked bored. He looked like his time at Tottenham, maybe he'd been here too long. And Postacoglu's changed all that, and Sonny has changed my mind on that. One thing I always wanted was for him to come into the middle. I didn't feel for the last year or so that he was as good out wide left, but he's gone into the middle, and Postacoglu's breathed new life back into this man. And Sonny is ruthless through on goal especially when we play the teams that, that don't play a low block, the teams that come out and play, the Liverpools, the Arsenals, the Burnleys. When they come and play, Sonny is deadly. His finishing is up there with the best in the league. What we've got to work out as to now is how do we get him involved in those games where teams play a low block? But that's a conversation for another day. But Sonny has scored six Premier League goals already. He's scoring against big teams as well. He scored two versus Arsenal, one versus Liverpool. Obviously, got the hatch against Burnley as well, but it's scoring against the better teams. And all of a sudden, from lots of fans, it's Kane who? The fans that were worrying about Kane leaving, Sonny through the middle will score goals. We now need to add to that to complement Sonny's goals. Give him more forwards that score around him. That is what I would do. But Sonny has been a breath of fresh air this year again. Looks a completely different player from what we saw last year. A player bereft of confidence, bereft of ideas, asked to do more of a defensive job, playing with an injury. All of that we'll never know the extent. But Sonny has taken the captaincy on as well. He looks like he's getting the respect from all the players, the fans, the pundits. And he's smiling. The Sonny we didn't see last year, a smiling Sonny. And when a player's happy, their performances are normally much better. So long may it continue. And well done to Sonny. Well done. Because there, as I said, I'll be honest, there was a time where his form, and no one's going to tell me they weren't worried about his form for a very long time. But that's the best way to shut us up. Brilliant goals. Long may it continue, starting with Fulham at home next week. So, Postacoglu, two months in a row. Players that are outfield, Madison and Son, two months in a row. Still, Spurs are getting no respect from teams around us. I don't mind that. I know lots of people are asking for that. Why aren't we getting more respect? For me, I'm happy with that. For me, I'm happy with this season. Yeah, we move forward. I know lots of people seem to think I'm not happy because I'm not talking about titles, but that's just me. I think we could be in for a very good season and I don't see any reason why we can't get Champions League football again. Obviously, you take injuries into account, suspensions into account, form into account. December's going to be a tricky month with seven games in 28 days. So a game every four days as opposed to right now where we're playing every seven to nine days. Players going to the African Cup of Nations, Sunny going to the Asian Cup. This is where it all goes on Levy. But the positives are that Spurs have had a clean sweep. Four awards so far in the Premier League. Four awards have gone to Tottenham Hotspur. The club is going in the right direction. Can we continue to do this? Can we continue to do this? Scouting, key. Director of football, key. Signings, key. Levy is key. Keeping players fit is key. So positives, positives, positives. Can they maintain it? I don't know. 
There's going to be bumps in the road. Doesn't mean it's all bad. Doesn't mean it's all good. But it is going in the right direction. Feet on the ground from me. Really happy. This is why I wanted Posta Coglu. This is a, a well-traveled man. Been there, seen it, done it. Different countries. And I'm really happy that he is going to be taking Tottenham Hotspur forward, hopefully, for the next five, ten years. Why not? Let's build something. Onwards and upwards. Well done, Sonny. Well done, Posta Coglu. Please like, please subscribe and join us tonight at 7 o'clock UK time as we start a Tottenham, uh, no we don't, an England versus Australia live watch along. Plus all the scores from the Euro games as they come in. Take care everyone and as always, come on you Spurs.